The Bar Council of India has allowed foreign law firms and lawyers to practice international law and arbitration matters in India. However, the permission will be based on reciprocity. Ashmit joins us now with the details. Ashmit, this has been long pending and of course there has been severe opposition uh, from uh, Indian legal firms on this opening up. Uh, finally, what has led to this? Well, indeed, it has been a long time coming and after years and years of debates and after keeping the industry locked out as far as foreign uh, lawyers and foreign uh, law firms are concerned, that is set to change. Bar Council says that as a part of going global, as a part of establishing India, as a part of the international arbitration hub that India is aspiring towards, India is aiming for, this is a step in that direction. But does it mean that you'll see tomorrow a British or an American lawyer arguing against someone like a Hari Salve, Kapil Sibyl, or Mukul Radhi, no, that is not going to happen. Uh, here's the devil as far as the detail is concerned. The Bar Council of India came out with uh, these rules and regulations, which in principle have thrown the doors open for foreign law firms and foreign lawyers to participate as a part of the Indian uh, legal industry to practice here. However, there are three important takeaways in terms of restrictions that have been placed. Number one, reciprocity. Lawyers and law firms only from countries which permit Indian lawyers to practice in those countries only from those countries will the lawyers be allowed to practice here in the country. First. Second, they will only be allowed to work in the non-litigious space. So that essentially means that they will not be allowed to argue before the courts, before tribunals, high court, supreme court. The arguing bit is not happening. But what then will the foreign lawyers and law firms do? So the role so far that has been conceived by the Bar Council of India is restricted uh, to matters of joint ventures, mergers, acquisitions, drafting of contracts, uh, corporate litigation, uh, corporate uh, uh, drafting of uh, contracts. That's essentially the area. And international arbitration, that again is a focus area as far as Bar Council is concerned. The third is uh, the foreign lawyers and law firms will have to necessarily register themselves with the Bar Council of India. And these, of course, uh, come with a whole host of supplementary rules and regulations uh, that these foreign lawyers and law firms will have to comply with. So the guardrails uh, may have been put in place, but it does qualify as the Indian legal industry opening up its doors to foreign lawyers as well as foreign law Yes, firms. one of the few sectors uh, where FDI uh, was uh, continued to be restricted. Uh, Ashmit, appreciate you joining us. A quick check of some of the other headlines. Thousands of farmers continue their 200-kilometer long march from now.